Right now, I mean, you know, we're on the cusp of Homeworld 3 yeah. coming out soon. I don't know, there's NDAs and all that floating around, I imagine. But from what I've heard about it, I mean, you know, I've heard the scale of this game is tremendous, way beyond anything we've seen before. I mean, what can you tell us about Home Homeworld 3 then? And how is that coming on? Well, I mean, okay, so the short answer is it's coming on great. <laughs> and it's, it's, I think in, okay, so I'm obviously super biased. So, you know, talk to someone else, but for sure. But in my opinion, it's, if not the most pretty, it's one of the most pretty science fiction things I've ever seen. I just love it. It just looks so cool. The art team at Blackbird have done such an incredible job, Carl and his team. Um, so, so it, it, it's definitely worthy just in terms of how it looks, how it sounds, how it plays. It's, it's incredibly authentic to the IP. It's just oversaturated with home world vibes and flavors. You know, people, fans familiar with the franchise are just gonna, are just gonna love that. Um, and I think new fans are, are gonna be tasting it for the first time and, and loving it too. Um, but yeah, the, the scale is massive. I mean, it, you know, I've said before that, home, you know, the spirit of Homeworld 3 was really born in the conception of Homeworld 2 uh, in the early oh. 2000s. But we were utterly unable to pull off that scale um, with the, the space terrain and geometry that we had in mind at the time. But now it's completely possible and, and it's happening in Homeworld 3. So um, you know, without, you know, violating any disclosure agreements or, or letting any cats out of the bag, I, I can explain a little bit. Homeworld 3 is going to feature um, space geometry by way of, you know, artificial constructs like, you know, ancient hyperspace gates, but also in addition, you know, asteroid, f you know, fields and, and ice fields and features in the 3D environment that will affect the flow of the game, the strategy game, and the distribution of resources in a really interesting way. So, you know, for the first time, you know, in a, in a, in a homeworld game, you'll be able to exploit choke points, you know, like unit filtration areas where only small ships can pass through, but the big ships have to go around. Um, you'll be able to deploy, you know, various units that are terrain specific or deal with the terrain in the gameplay in specific ways. You'll be able to fly inside the terrain and exploit cavities within the terrain for various gameplay wins like stealth and so on. So you've got the basic RTS sort of sandwich happening of, you know, resourcing, production um, and combat. Um, but it's now layered in to this three-dimensional geometry, the three-dimensional strategy game, um, and again, set against this spectacularly beautiful uh, you know, environment with a story that is a continuation of the story that is sort of left hanging at the, end, at the end of Homeworld 2 with this discovery of this gate system in the galaxy. So... It's super exciting. It, it feels wonderful to be working on it. And, you know, I really can't wait to, to get it into people's hands. Oh, Rob, it sounds epic. I mean, are we still on course for a, a release first half of this year, do you think? Uh, is that still happening? I think, I think you'd have to reach out to the Gearbox team for more specific yeah. date, uh, release date information. But what I can tell you is that it's going super well. Um, we're super excited. And uh, I, really, I really can't wait to hear what people think. Well, Rob, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you and thank you so much for spending some time to reminisce with us and uh we can't wait to see the work that you and the guys have done on uh homeworld 3 so uh, best of luck with it we can't wait to play it well um, and thanks so much for coming on and being our guest thanks so much the pleasure is 100 percent mine that was really it was really fun and um thanks so much 